<coughs> Thank you, Mrs. Clark. There was a quite a lengthy introduction. Excellencies, Ms. Clark, Ornin Yuma, Mr. Gates, ladies and gentlemen, I'm really happy to be with you again one year after the launch of the Better Than Cash Initiative and Alliance. As leaders gather in New York for the General Assembly, an important topic is how to accomplish the MDGs and how to define the development agenda that will follow 2015. Better Than Cash does deliver a timely message that digital technology is not only making financial inclusion possible, but that also it brings the potential to accelerate economic, equitable economic growth, job creation, poverty alleviation, women's empowerment, and much more. Let me thus take a moment to congratulate the members of the Alliance for your commitment and to encourage you to keep up the good work. A year ago, I recognized the importance of leadership. Malawi, the Philippines, and the other countries and, and agencies of this alliance are leading in the most important way, by example and from the ground up. And Mr. Gates, your vision on digital technology and your generosity are really, truly changing this landscape. The very nature of this alliance illustrates a key point. Only by working together can we harness the transformative potential of electronic payments. In Colombia and Mexico, moving social welfare transfers from cash to electronic payments and bank accounts has increased efficiencies, accountability, and transparency. It has lowered costs dramatically. With the support of UNDP and others, elderly and disabled in Fiji now receive monthly benefits directly into their savings accounts. This greatly reduces the hardships of traveling to pick up cash, not to mention the significant cost savings to governments. The global reach of the UN, USAID, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and other institutional members of the Alliance are so important in spreading national experiences and best practice like this. It is also very good that the Alliance is looking at issues of supply, including topics like regulation, very important, supervision, data, very important, privacy, protection, and financial capability. But let us not forget to look at the client needs and what do the clients demand. Meeting the needs of poor households and small enterprises is where we will find the real potential for impact. We really need to work hard to make digital payments a gateway to other financial services that can help people get away from the huge costs and risks of holding cash. Savings and insurance are here especially important. They both facilitate resilience as well as investments in productive activities. For example, farmers in Kenya can insure a small bag of seeds against excessive rain or drought at the moment that they buy it. The payment is done via mobile phone. If there is a drought or a flood, the insurance company automatically delivers payout again on the client's phone. You might think, what does it actually make a change? You know, this little assistance makes it more attractive for farmers to actually end up buying this higher quality seed, therefore expanding production and increasing investment in productive activities. Moving to ca from cash to electronic payments and then to a diversity of financial services can be quite challenging. Certainly, it does involve many sectors and stakeholders. So this will require coordination and partnership around a common goal. And for me, coordination backed by strong political will will be key to success. Tomorrow, the United Nations Secretary General will present his report on the MGDs and post-2015 development agenda at a special event. This report and an earlier report from the high-level panel make clear references to the role of inclusive finance to achieve development. I have been very active in this discussion because 
the post-2015 agenda will shape political priorities, investments, and many actions in the years to come. Let us be sure that this agenda contains inclusive finance. And let us make it bold and inspiring, have a bold and inspiring vision. Our overall aspiration should be nothing less than universal access to financial services by 2030. Every person, every business in every country deserves this opportunity. So in your country level work, please be ambitious. Establish bold targets on e-payments. Then set equally bold targets for other financial services that can be built upon these e-payments. And please do not forget the value of sharing your commitments, experience, and very important, the evidence on how greater access to financial services has helped reduce poverty, improved health, education, and food security, among many other goals. I really wish you many success today, but also in the whole partnership in the Alliance. And I hope that many more join you and you can really help each other to establish all the best practices uh, that can actually make your success much greater. Thank you very much. <laughs>